different ways of showing division problems. In lower grades, we see division problems presented like this, and like this, and maybe even like this as well. In higher grades, you're going to see division problems presented a bit differently, and I want you to understand what they mean when you see them. Before we get to anything complex, let's just think about a fraction for a moment. Three quarters, or three fourths if you prefer. It means three parts out of a whole containing four parts. And it also means three divided by four. This line separating the numerator and the denominator means divided by. Transforming three quarters into a decimal number is easy when you say to yourself, this fraction means three divided by four. Get out your calculator and punch it in while I do the math on screen. Check it out. Three divided by four. No fours in three, so add your decimal point in the dividend and on the answer line and put in a couple of zeros. Now, how many fours in 30? Seven fours are 28, remainder two. How many fours are 20? Five fours are 20. So three quarters, or three divided by four, is 0 0.75. And of course, that's what you got using a calculator too. Remember, the line between numerator and denominator shows we are dividing. Now let's extend that understanding. A division problem can be presented just like a fraction. One value, or even a problem that needs evaluating as a top line, a numerator, then a division line, then another value or grouping of terms as a denominator. This really gives you something to get your bed mass teeth into, and it's something you'll get in higher grades. First, translate the problem, say it out loud. That helps us realize what we have to do. Four times the square root of 49 plus two squared divided by the square root of 121. This is not panic time for anyone. It's just time to recognize there's a bunch of simplifying and working out to do. And we do it one step at a time using bed mass to arrive at our answer. Seriously, that thing I've been saying, keep calm and use bed mass. I'm not kidding. A big part of doing math like this is in keeping your cool and just moving along one step at a time. So let's do it now and prove we can make sense of it. We have two lines of math. We simplify both lines of math, then do the division at the end. I'll start up top. Brackets first. The square root of 49. 7 times 7 is 49. The square root is 7. Plus 2 squared. 2 times 2 is 4. Complete the terms. Next line. 7 plus 4 is 11 and complete the terms. Now the last step on the top line is to multiply by 4 and 4 11s are 44. Divided by the square root of 121. If you know your tables, you'll jump right to 11 because 11 times 11 is 121. So now we have this thing that looks like a fraction and we know this means the numerator divided by the denominator. So, 44 divided by 11. How many 11s in 44? Four 11s are 44. And we're done. That wasn't too tough at all, was it? If you get a problem along these lines, it is not too hard for you. Work out one row at a time. Then do your division problem at the end. If you can apply bed mass, then this kind of problem just needs you to keep your cool and move along one step at a time till you get to the end. And you really can do it. Now, go and do some practice and build your confidence and your math muscle.